How fluffy am I in the morning? My hair is fluffy, I suppose. Bam. Oh, just woke up? Yeah. I didn't set my alarms, so I didn't get to wake up early and set things up. No, Rishna! Not cute! What do you mean? This is cute. I can't do the cute. Ah. <laughs> I'll fight you all. <laughs> Oh, if you had the ring! <laughs> EPM Fluffy, you're fluffy. Cute animal shorts. Yeah, we could do that. We can do that in a little bit. Stretch! <gasps> Did someone say Floofy? Time to aggressively pat the backer's bed head. No! Bocath one pat, Bocath one Angie, Bocath one pat. No! Bocath is truly an inspiration. I hope to be as cute as... How does that make sense? If I'm an inspiration, why do you want to be cute as me? <laughs> Hope to be like me someday, but no, don't do that. I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm an absolute mess. I make other messes look like they got their crap together. Well, back as cuteness and suffering during the Yureli quest did inspire me to try editing low. My suffering in the Yureli is what made you want to start editing? <laughs> I mean, I suppose something could came out of it. <laughs> Bocath one dead, is it really that bad? Is it really that bad? I don't want to talk about it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, uh, Alright, so I need to watch... Oh my god. How many videos did you send? One minute animals. How long is this video? This looks like a short. Is this short? Right. One day I'll get Bocca to react to the Yoreli video. One day. No! It's not happening. I'm not living... I'm not reliving a... Uh... What's it called? Uh, past trauma. trauma. <laughs> That's not what we do here. <laughs> right, um, the moment. We can watch some burb, some cute, cute animal videos. I'm down, I'm down. I'm down with the sickness. Uh, cap, ca capo, the largest parrot. The world, the cockapo. It's the a flightless bird native to New Zealand. You might be surprised to know that it's also one of the rarest birds on Earth. Just look at it! Its feathers are a lovely shade of green, almost like camouflage in the forests it calls home. It's got a big, round body, and its beak is curved and strong, perfect for cracking open seeds and fruits. One of the most interesting things about cockapos is their nocturnal lifestyle, which is unusual for parrots. They spend their days roosting in tree cavities or under logs, and they come out to forage for food at night. They are also known for their distinctive calls, which are loud and deep. They use these calls to communicate with each other, attract mates, and defend their territory. Sadly, due to their nocturnal habits, flightlessness, and habitat loss, cockapoes are critically endangered. But thanks to dedicated conservation efforts, their numbers are slowly increasing. Well, that's nice. They were kind of cute. That's kind of weird that it's a parrot that can't fly. I didn't know that there was other parrots. Uh, other. Case uh, I think of it's us remix. Okay, come on. Uh, it's very interesting to know that. Think of it, Sally's. The young hippo refused to let the zookeeper pet it, and even angrily bit the keeper's knee. The reason? The zookeeper had said it was too fat and needed to lose weight. Its face and belly were full of fat, and hearing this made the little hippo furious. However, the clever little hippo wasn't about to give in. Every time the zookeeper brought diet food, it would pretend to chew. And whenever the zookeeper wasn't looking, it would hog all of its mom's food. When the zookeeper came closer, it would put on a pitiful act, pretending to eat dirt, then sneakily attack the zookeeper's knee as payback. One day, though, it got too caught up in stealing food and was caught red-handed by the zookeeper. Unfortunately, it got scolded, which left the young hippo feeling upset for days. The worried zookeeper tried to comfort it, but to their surprise, the little hippo jumped up again and bit through the zookeeper's 30th pair of pants. The young hippo re <laughs> Why is he adorable? How tall and fat. He's chubby. He's got chubby... <laughs> All right, next.
I want it known. That's a big bang. And aww. I hope they still let him visit the animals. Because the animals will remember him. Alright. Look at the creepiest bird ever. At least that's what the video says. I think it looks cute. <laughs> this strange looking bird with eyes like big glowing marbles and a ridiculously oversized mouth is the great Pateau, a master Pateau. of disguise by day and a silent predator at night. Found in Central and South America, these quirky birds spend their days perched motionless on tree branches. Their modeled brown feathers and posture match the bark perfectly, transforming into living camouflage. But come nightfall, the poto awakens, its large eyes perfect for low light vision, Potato helping bird. hunt insects on the wing. It opens its wide beak like a trap to snatch moths, beetles, and even occasional small bats. However, great potos are not just masters of disguise. They also possess a unique and somewhat terrifying vocal repertoire. which is a way for potos to defend their territory and attract mates, making them one of the birds with the most distinctive calls in the world. What? 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 I'm sorry, but that... It wasn't creepy, it was too cute. It was too cute. You want to make an OC based on the bird? Potato burb. I know, right? Yeah, I like cute animals. Cutest animal I saw today was definitely the white tiger and then maybe the Komodo. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> right. That's your name. <laughs> Finger monkey. Oh. Ah! I, I just minimized OBS. I'm, I'm brilliant, Chad. Alright. One minute animals. Oh, it's like it, it takes one minute to show you off the animal and stuff. Okay. Hey. Weighing less than an apple, the finger monkey is the smallest primate on Earth. Finger monkeys live in groups of up to eight individuals, where they engage in playful antics, grooming each other, and exploring their treetop habitat. Their incredible agility allows them to leap over 30 times their body length in a single bound, a feat that would be the equivalent of a human leaping over a house. As omnivores, finger monkeys have a varied diet. While they enjoy a variety of foods, they have a particular fondness for tree gum, resin, sap, and other sticky substances that trees produce. One cool thing about finger monkeys is how they raise their babies. Both the mommy and daddy monkey help take care of their little ones. And guess what? Even the older siblings lend a helping hand. This family-oriented approach ensures that the young monkeys receive the care and guidance they need. Hi, Kelsey. I, I, I want a finger monkey. I know I shouldn't own them, but... Okay, we're leaving. Goodbye. That terrified me. That was terrifying. A perfect end to the cute animal face. Why? Like, that's... 